A chef is one of three people now facing charges for robbing a local food bank. And yeah, not just a few things here and there. Police say they stole a lot of food that was meant for needy families and the elderly. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Carver tonight, where that food pantry, Louisa, is asking for help. Well, thankfully, Lisa and David, it appears the community is heeding the call for help. But this is after police say a man who cooked here for more than six years betrayed the public's trust. Everybody here is so cordial and so warm and makes you feel like part of their family. The Carver Council on Aging and Carver Food Pantry, a safe space for seniors, a helping hand for the needy, all in one building run on community and trust. But police say that trust was broken when the cook raided the kitchen. I just couldn't be believe. I mean, I just came in one day and said, so Dave's not here anymore. Chef David Lavoy, his girlfriend Tracy Archer, and her daughter Kimberly Parkman now charged with larceny and conspiracy. We were notified by the town administrator's office that um, there was some suspicious activity going on at the council aging. In September, police say they set up video surveillance at the facility, which captured Lavoy and his co-conspirators stealing food on the weekends. From chicken wings to prime rib, Lavoy is even accused of making his own special orders all on the council's dime. He was responsible for ordering items, which is what makes it difficult to determine how far back we go. The chef has since resigned, a shock to the people he served for six and a half years. Wonderful. Uh, he was like everybody's uncle. <laughs> yeah, super guy. Now Carver is starting fresh, encouraging food donations to the Shane Gives Thanks Pantry on Main Street. And there is one other way to help. There's going to be another food drive held next week at Carver High School. Live in Carver, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.